Hi, I'm David Barista from HousingZone.com. I'm joined by Patrick O'Toole, our Editorial Director. And uh, there's a bunch of housing news stories uh, posting on Housing Zone this week, the week of April 11, 2011. Right. None fresher than the information that came out of Harvard University last week. Now, Pat, you were there live, in person. Can you tell us a little bit about some of the uh, headlines that came out of Harvard? Absolutely. So we're talking about the Remodeling Futures Conference that happens every six months at Harvard's Joint Center for Housing Studies. Uh, this one held on April 5th. Most of the news that comes out of Harvard's conferences are embargoed for a little while, so you're not going to see the stories on Housing Zone, but some interesting discussions certainly were had up there, not the least of which, Dave, was the fact that distressed housing, foreclosures, short sales, that type of activity is having a really big impact on the remodeling market. They did a survey, 20% of all remodeling activity in the United States occurred as a result of distressed sales. So the purchaser came in and hired a remodeler to do the work. 20%, a much bigger number than we thought we would see at this stage of the foreclosure mess where it's sort of moving through the pipeline. A lot of activity. And uh, there's some regionality to it as well. So the West and the Midwest obviously have the highest amount of foreclosures. They also have the highest amount of distressed remodeling activity. Um, last little piece of this too is that three quarters of that activity is from the purchaser. So the banks aren't doing this work and obviously the sellers aren't doing a lot of it. They're not in a position to do this kind of work. So 20% uh, nationally, a lot of distressed remodeling activity. Um, That's interesting. What, I mean, did you learn anything else at Harvard? Yeah, there was, there was some really big important housing news as well. There's a preview of the upcoming report on the state of the nation's housing. Christopher Herbert gave the report on this. Well, the thing that I found most interesting was that legal immigrants, so from 1993 to say 2008, we had a million new professionals coming from other countries to the United mm -hmm. States, ready-made households, buying houses, impacting the housing market. Well, the new numbers and the census numbers are really showing that those people are not arriving. These ready-made households have pulled back, they're staying in their country of origin, and it's impacting the new construction market. So, um, yeah, we're producing a lot fewer houses. Uh, there is an undersupply that's happening. That's certainly outlined in the upcoming report. But legal immigration, way, way down. It's going to impact the market for years to come. So um, I think this is something you'll see on HousingZone.com this week. Some of the numbers that are coming out, um, you'll see stories about this Harvard conference, though, in the future. Great. Well, for HousingZone.com, I'm David Barista, Patrick O'Toole. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, and we'll see you on HousingZone.com.